there is no dope for this video. Morning, guys. What up? It's Saturday, and I have work today. I usually don't work on Saturdays. You guys know this, but. Sometimes it happens, so today's the day I have to work, although I think the job got a little bit smaller last night because some of the rooms aren't ready, so uh, it'll be a little bit shorter, which is cool because I like my Saturdays. That's my favorite day of the week, you know? Even though, yeah, I took a bunch of days off this past week, it's different because I'm home, you know, without Liz. Saturdays are cool because I'm with the family. I got Liz, I got a Dove, I got us, you know, doing what we want to do, usually. I mean, aside from errands and stuff like that. But, uh, it's different, you know? You're home and you're doing errands around the house and, you know, Liz isn't there and it's just, I don't know, cool to be off, but not as cool as a weekend when you can be all, be, all be together. So uh, tonight we're going to dinner with uh, Liz's, Liz's parents and grandma for a Mother's Day dinner thing. And then tomorrow's Mother's Day, it's going to be Liz's first like real Mother's Day. I mean, yeah, last year she was pregnant when she on Mother's Day, and technically she still like celebrate Mother's Day. But it's like, now she has like a real kid, like a real baby this time. <laughs> So uh, I'm excited to uh, give her gifts. I'm gonna make her breakfast in the morning. Pancakes and like frozen sausage. And uh, I'm gonna take her to Ulta because she's been wanting to go. We don't really have one too close. So I'm gonna take her there. And um, I think there's a few things she wants to buy. Oh, and then I got dinner reservations at P.F. Chang's, one of our favorite restaurants, at 5 o'clock. So, it should be a nice, cool little day. Nice little Mother's Day. Hopefully I made it nice for her. We'll see, though. But, anyway, let me finish going to work and finish the work day and uh, let's get this freaking weekend started once and for all. Seriously, guys. Seriously. Working on a Saturday? Ugh. If you're not used to it, okay, yeah, if you work every Saturday, okay. You know, you have your Saturday, you have your weekend somewhere, whether it's a Tuesday, Wednesday, or somewhere in the week, or it's always different maybe. But uh, when you're not working, you don't work Saturdays, like me, and then all of a sudden you gotta work Saturday, it blows. <laughs> I hate it. You know what I also hate? The term, it blows. And I just used it. I don't know why I hate it so much. I feel like it's too 90s maybe. I don't know. Guys, I'm home from work. So Liz went shopping all day, you know, like groceries, stuff we needed, baby stuff, our stuff. And uh, she's getting ready because we're going to go for dinner with her parents in a little bit. In like an hour they're supposed to be here. And uh, I'm just cutting up squash, sweet potato, and we did carrots already. This is the mess. This is the stuff you guys like to see, right? Real life. Real life. Not just a clean, shiny sink real life, dirty, messy, uncleaned. I didn't get to clean it yet, but I'm still working. Just finished cutting, cutting, annoying, ugh. And sweet potatoes in there. I'm gonna do another load of sweet potato. After that, might not have enough time to do any more and just save the rest for tomorrow, which would be the squash. If we have enough containers. So, ugh. So, oh, you know what's really cool with the curry? Um, Yesterday's vlog, ugh, not yesterday's vlog, two days ago, it was called Keurig Problems, right? I basically, let me, let me bring you guys back up to speed. Since then, oh, how did I do it? Liz looked up uh, that you could run vinegar through it and that might help. So I did it, not as much as they recommended to do. I only did a small bottle, I was supposed to use like this big bottle. Um, and then it kind of started working. What did I do? I don't think I really did anything else. And then it just started working finally. Not right away, it took a few tries. And I ran a lot of water through it and then it started kind of working. So I don't know if it was fixed from at that point or not. So I put out the video, Curry Problems, and I can't believe the response I got from you guys. You guys are awesome, by the way. I want to say thank you to anybody who responded. I got a few responses in the comments. Some people even sent me links to videos 
about cleaning out the little needle in the Keurig. You know, like, up there, and there's also another one down there. Cleaning out the needle. Uh, somebody left me this huge instructional thing on Facebook how to do it. Somebody sent me uh, another link on Twitter. You guys are awesome. Thank you so much. That is so cool that you guys are willing to help me out with that. And uh, so at that point, I'm not sure if it's fixed or not, so I'm like, you know what, I'm, I'm going to do it anyway. I'm going to get the paper clip, I'm going to clean out the little uh, needle thing, and I ran a bunch of water, and you know what, the first load of water that came out was, you know, a good amount of coffee grinds in there. Because that could have been the problem, is that the needles were clogged with coffee grinds. So, ever since then, it's been working pretty good. Actually, it's been working flawlessly. It's been working fine, no problems. I put the uh, cake up in there and it works perfectly. Well, actually, a cool thing that happened is I've been getting all these responses from you guys helping me out. And then I actually get a response from Keurig on Twitter. Keurig mentioned, view my reality. Your needles might be clogged. You can find video instructions how to clean them here, and then it gives me a link to a video, which I haven't seen yet because uh, I just didn't have time yet. I was at work when I got it, and now I'm home and busy, and I probably won't even get a chance to till late at night. I am going to check it out, though. But that is so cool of Keurig to, like, reach out to me and help me out. You know what I mean? Like, that's really cool of a company. Like, if I were on the fritz of, like, oh, I don't know about this Keurig company, you know what I mean? And then them doing that, it's like, wow, they care about their customers. That's really cool. It's really cool of them. I respect them for that. And that's really, that's really awesome. And it's not even like I was on Twitter complaining about Keurig and, you know, mentioning them like, oh, your products suck or something like that. You know what I mean? Like, I wasn't even... The only thing that went on Twitter about Keurig is my automatic post that my video uploaded and the video happened to be called Keurig Problems. So maybe they saw that and they were like, oh, maybe we should check it out. So I looked at my video and I saw that, I don't think they sat there and watched the entire video, but I think they had to see at least 25 seconds of my video to know what the problem was. And that's really cool. 25 seconds is worth a lot in the business world, you know? And to, to look at a lot of petty people complaining about stupid little things, you know what I mean? Like, they took the half a minute, at least. I mean, they could have watched longer. But that's pretty cool that they took the time aside, watched my video, and responded to it. That's pretty cool. Good job, Keurig. But anyway, got on a whole Keurig tangent. Just wanted to fill you guys in. So it's been working. I think we're back to normal with that machine. And uh, yeah, I didn't want to give up because that machine is only a little bit over a year old. So they don't last a year. You know what I mean? They last longer than that. But anyway, sweet potato, are you done? Ah, uh, yet, yeah, not yet, because the light is on and I got to clean up the sink. But pop this in the freezer because I'm not going to have a chance to do this. I'll just do one more load of sweet potato, clean the counters, and I think we're ready. Because we're going to go out to dinner, we're going to this like cool pizza place, it's like a pizza restaurant, Italian food sort of thing. But we usually get pizza for the table and some pasta and stuff like that. And uh, after that we're going to come back here and have some dessert and coffee and blah blah blah. And at that point it'll be late. So I probably won't talk to you guys for the rest of the night. Sorry, I don't think it's a really a short vlog, but it might be a little boring-ish, you know? It's just me driving to work, and then now, two-clip vlog, huh? Not one take Sunday, two-clip Saturday. Why not? But anyway, thanks for watching, guys. And uh, we got a little mom cookie thing. And some mini cupcakes. And yeah! I'll see you guys tomorrow. Thanks for watching. Oh, I just realized that there is no dope for this video. So she's napping now and we gotta leave in like a half an hour, I think. So if I can get a clip in, I will. If not, I'm sorry. You could still thumbs up the video though, even though you didn't see Dof. You saw me. I made this vlog. Come on. Hey Dof. Are you reading by yourself? <laughs> what is this? This is so cute. Baby reads a book by herself. Okie dokie. Are you going to kiss the book?
Wow.